the drop. I'm gonna drop it like it's hot. It's getting hot in here. So take off all your clothes. No, don't. Amazon the drop collections are dropping like hot bread. That, I believe, was the perfect opportunity for them to do so, right? Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you are revisiting me, welcome. So happy to have you. And I just want to say I am so thankful to all those who commented on my last video. Those that subscribed. Oh, love you guys. Let's do this. Let's spread the word. So today it's another video that I'm very passionate about as well. And it's the Amazon The Drop collections that has been dropping quite often. Yeah, The Drop. I'm gonna drop it like it's hot. And that essentially came on my radar in 2019, 2020. I think when Mrs. Bright um, brought it to our attention that she was collaborating with Amazon and oh my god was I ever excited to see an influencer collaborating with Amazon a giant a behemoth Leviathan a gigantic company oh my god it's Amazon the drop Today we're going to look at what's happening with all the drops. Are they still happening? And what about those old influencers that you have supported in their drops? What essentially is Amazon the drop? If you've been living under a rock, perhaps you haven't been around on the YouTube scene or on the Instagram scene or wherever the influencers are What's happening? Yeah, so today we'll delve into it because I supported this drop and Guys, I think everyone knows whose drop this is But we would we would get to them a bit later so as you guys know on this channel sustainability matters and we embrace imperfect sustainability. So I'm gonna leave you some tips on how you could be imperfectly sustainable. So guys, what is Amazon the drop? So it's essentially, it's a series of limited edition lines designed by influencers with large social followings. Large is of course subjective, but it depends on who do they like, who do they consider large, and how influential are you. It comes out every couple of weeks, and it's available for 30 hours. Once the hours are up, the clothes, they are essentially gone forever. But what we have noted is that over the last couple of drops, there have been influencers that have done a second drop. I'm not sure if there was a third drop, but yeah, they have. The drop line has essentially become more or less a bit prominent-ish on Amazon. And the ish is for those who think that it's not permanent because right now, based on what I'm seeing, it is permanent. So let's get into it. Guys, I'm not sure if you're aware, but Amazon the drop collections have been dropping like hot breads. So we are going to drop it like it's hot. For me, Amazon the drop is not something that I feel like I would hold on to it. And here are my reasons. Amazon the drop collections for me 
is a waste. And I say this because it's not living up to what it was originally designed to do. And that is to be as sustainable. Right now, I think it's just jumping on the sustainable bandwagon. And there may be a bit of greenwashing going on. Yeah. It's not looking good. Amazon, the drop clothing lines are essentially fast fashion. They have some elements of sustainability, which was essentially the idea behind these drops. But I think something has stepped in the way. I think greed. Yeah. Surprise, surprise. Right? Greed has somewhat stepped in that that sustainable element of it is lost among the greed. So it's sustainable in the sense that Amazon the drop lines are made to order. So by implication, there is no waste. So because it's made to order, they only make as much as you order, which I absolutely applaud. And that was essentially one of the main reasons why I embrace Amazon The Drop so much. But I am so disappointed. And here is reason number two. Recently, Mr. Jeff Bezos is now proudly engaged in funding organizations that would support green initiatives that would help tackle climate issues, greenhouse gases. That's commendable, right? I mean, as someone in this line of work, ah, I can jump for joy. But there may be some issues with that. With a giant like Amazon supporting climate initiatives, do you think that these companies might turn a blind eye to what Amazon may be doing? Do, do you think that there may be some form of conflict of interest? That they may not be as honest? Their integrity may be called into question? Do you think so? But... Those are food for thoughts. But it's essentially billions of dollars that are being funneled and supporting these organizations. There is even a fund that helps support very poor communities, I believe. I really didn't really want to soak it into my system. I am trying to protect my heart. It has been broken many times. So I hate this disappointments. I hate when you tell me something and you go back against your words that you are essentially greenwashing me and that you're trying to get me to overlook stuff that you're doing. So you, yeah, mm, yeah. But regardless, Amazon the drop for me, it is fast fashion because at the moment, items, clothing lines are being churned out every two to three weeks. How is that not fast fashion? How is that sustainable? It was meant to be sustainable and it was also meant for many influencers to put on their creativity hats, right? And for those who may want to be, maybe have their own clothing line or a fashion designer, if that was in their future plans, if they had manifested the drop, that, that, that would be like this opportunity. That, I believe, was the perfect opportunity for them to do so right but the question is and here's my other reason why i'm not supporting amazon the drops anymore not many of these influencers i believe in my humble opinion i don't think many of them really want 
to be fashion designers. Like anybody else, I think they're just in it, of course, for the paycheck, for the money. I mean, come on. Nobody works for nothing these days, right? You have to have a dog in the fight. You have to get your reward. You have to be benefiting from whatever you're working at. But the issue is that if you're not going to be a fashion designer, why are you having a fashion line? Well, apart from the money, I know money is a great incentive. Come on, that's what we all work for. But another reason is that I don't even see the influencers wearing their own lines anymore. They are hopping there everywhere, highlighting their companies. If your drop was such a great deal, why are you no longer wearing your items? I don't even see them. You would think they would be proudly showing them whenever they are doing their own videos. What are they wearing? Some other brand. You don't even see them on their day to day in their stories, in their own line, unless it's around the period of time when they're actually launching the brand. Or two weeks after or two weeks before. You, you don't see it. So if you're not wearing it, why should I continue to wear it? If you're not interested in being like a real fashion designer, it means that you may not be putting as much effort into making really great quality stuff for me to actually have for the rest of my life. Which brings me to the next point and when I get animated and when I get really into the discussion of things because ideas just flow and I just start talking I don't keep count so please keep count for me what number is this one so it brings me to whatever number this is the quality oh my god are we just tired of hearing about quality issues it's everywhere. It's like, really, I'm not the only one, it appears, that have issues with the jobs. There's this blogger, the Oxygen Wardrobe. She stated that she's just over the job because the quality is questionable. Can we get some good quality stuff here? I had hoped that some of my favorite, like my die hard, those influences I have real confidence in, that they would really bring me some good quality stuff. Again, I'm left disappointed because they didn't. And this brings me to this. I supported this drop. Guys, Oh my God, it's, it's, it's my favorite drop. Honestly, I love the pants. It's so me. Like, if I had to do a collection, which by the way, I would make from existing materials, from charity shops, stuff that are donated, that are often discarded, because you may not be aware that 80 something percent of items donated to your charity shops do not make it on the shelves or on the racks. They are often incinerated or discarded. So I would grab those and I would create, of course, something along this line, of course, with, with my own twist and something wide, wider leg, of course, because that's me, I, I love me a wide leg, but this is very much my, up my alley. I love the details, the elastic at the back. No, I don't love the elastic at the back because you know why? Essentially, it brings elastane into the picture. And when elastin is in, 
it means that it's gonna be really challenging when this is no longer useful to even recycle it. It's difficult to separate elastane from natural fibers. And I don't just mean you could just pull the elastic out and that's it, Bob's your uncle. No. This is also partially elastane because it has a stretch to it. So that would be another feature that I would never incorporate into my job because it has to be natural fibers so that if it does end up in a landfill somewhere along the line, along its life cycle, which I'm going to get to that point next, if it gets thrown in the and it's not in good or excellent condition to be reworn or resell, then my natural fiber fabrics would disintegrate quickly if it does enter the landfill. That's, that's the whole idea behind sustainable fabric lines, that the clothing items you're producing must be of great quality, natural, 100% natural fabrics. But no, most of the fabrics from the lines as you would see, there's this line here, this collection, and these are beautiful items, but most of them have lasting or polyester. No bueno. So guys, the other issue that I have with these lines is that they don't wash well. For example, this piece, it's a gorgeous cobalt blue it's oh one of my favorite colors so flattering on my skin type and I've seen many other people that supported this drop and I love my girl I love her to death please don't be offended when you're watching this it's just me doing an analysis don't take it personally I love you and I love, I love your design. It's beautiful. But the blue is no longer bluing. One wash in cold water on the gentle cycle i babied it because despite the fact that i realized it has elastane in it i really wanted to support my girl because that's that's my girl i love her to pieces so i was gonna take off my sustainability glasses and support her because i still do shop periodically mainly second hand but when i do buy new i follow the mantra fabric fit and style and these fell into the fit style but the fabric it's not washing well and it looks like it's like 50 60 years old that i've had it in my closet forever and because I wanted it to really drag on the floor and it wasn't dragging, I had undo the hem. But because of the factory line, it wasn't flattering either. It didn't look good. I really wanted to wear my Karen Brit Chicks pants. It's the reason I bought it so I could wear it in office. But... As I've said in the past, it's not very long the way I wanted it to drape on me. So, Karen did say that you could undo the hem. Well, I did. And this line, the industrial line, 
it doesn't go away. This is a permanent line from production when it was ironed industrially and it doesn't go away. I really tried. I would have to redo it and be satisfied with it. Yeah. 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 So it's not really wearing well. And for me, if I wash this again, it's really not going to be looking great. It's the reason why I am preventing myself from washing this. And I have worn this a lot, but I really don't want to ruin it. And I don't want to dry clean it because for me, dry clean utilizes a lot of resources that, yeah, only when absolutely necessary do I dry clean. So guys, those are the reasons why I am not impressed with Amazon The Drop Collections. I am no longer excited about Amazon The Drops, about influencers trying to tell me that their particular clothing line is awesome. It's the best. I am not impressed. The quality of these items are so bad that people are now reselling them on ThreadUp and other places or throwing them in their bins. So it's essential that YouTubers, influencers, you guard your name. It's your brand. And be careful about what you are actually placing your name to. You need to pay attention to that because it's really sad to find your items in a landfill or in a bin or being resold. It's, it's, it's not a good look. And you're, you're going for the look. It's, the look is everything, right? You're a fashion brand. Another reason for me not supporting Amazon The Drops is that I have to pay for shipping. No. Oh my God. Why in the world will a giant, a behemoth, Leviathan, a gigantic company, I know I'm getting hot. I, I get like that when I'm passionate about something, but it is hot. Why would a company charge you for return if it doesn't fit? Oh, because it was made to order and because of that, you will be responsible for paying shipping if you don't like it. It's not necessarily if it doesn't fit, but if you don't like it. That's nonsense. That's ridiculous. This is a man that made billions. Its net sale was $125.56 billion for one year. They sell other items. They make so much money because influencers may provide you with the base, but not necessarily the shoe or the other accessories. No, Amazon is smart. They are the ones that have their thinking caps on. So they make more money. I would like to know that my influencer is getting more money out of this than the actual Amazon itself. They don't need more money. We don't need to line Jeff Bezos' pockets with more money. Seriously, that's another reason I don't support Amazon The Drop anymore. And I do support other Amazon items. I actually have a video that I did when I bought so many things for my mom's funeral. I'm very mindful of about what I buy. That's why I don't buy a lot. Because unfortunately, we often have to support them no matter how much we try not to. But it's the excess that you don't need to do. If I don't like it, I'm, you need to be able to send it back free. Like most stuff on Amazon. I don't like that. Even if you buy stuff outside, 
out of the shipping policy. No, if I have Prime, you need to go to Timbuktu, any part of the US and Canada, and send it to me freely. Because that's the deal. Another reason I don't support Amazon the job is, of course, when it comes to workers. Workers are my passion because I've been there, guys. I know what it's like. It's not easy out there working in these factories. When it comes to these lines, because the turnaround is so fast, they work extensive hours to get the line out to you. And it's a lot of pressure. And I guess that's also the reason why the quality is not that great. But Amazon is not as transparent about how much they pay their workers. And of course, most of these workers are in China because the items are made in China. And what do you expect? I am expecting the normal. Yeah. And we know what the normal is. Sweatshops. Much sweatier than I'm feeling right now. Guys. These are issues. Dior is having that issue where greed just taking over and they have been getting away with these things for years. These are not new issues. They are not. It's just that we like to be willfully blind when it comes to these issues because it makes us sleep better at nights. But no, you're not getting away with it. You need to face the reality that these are not well-intentioned companies as they claim to be at times so sometimes they start out possibly with the right intentions although I don't think so I think it all boils down to money but they get even greedier and things just yeah become business as usual so guys those are some of the reasons why i would never ever support another amazon to drop so for me i'm gonna drop it like it's hot yeah i'm no longer supporting amazon the drop guys this is for informational purposes hope you have learned something hope you have enjoyed the video and don't forget to thumbs up thumbs down I don't care, I could take it, but I love you regardless. That is your chance to be rude. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head.